And I want all of you to know, especially the young people in the audience today, and don't jump, okay? <laughs> oh, I didn't see that all the way up there. As my father would say, please excuse my back. I apologize. <laughs> but all kidding aside, the American people were with you, are with you. Every step of the way, it's real. Those of you who've been to America know that there is a uh, there is a large population that is invested in what happens here, that cares a great deal about what happens here. Supporting the people of Northern Ireland, protecting the peace, preserving the Belfast Good Friday Agreement is a priority for Democrats and Republicans alike in the United States. And that is unusual today because we've been very divided on our parties. So the simple truth is that peace and economic opportunity go together. Peace and economic opportunity go together. In 25 years since the Good Friday Agreement, Northern Ireland's gross domestic product has literally doubled, doubled. And I predict to you, if things continue to move in the right direction, it will more than triple. There are scores of major American corporations wanting to come here, wanting to invest. How many of you have heard over the years, those of you old, my, closer to my age, mom, dad, there's nothing here for me. I'm going to move. I'm going to leave. I got to go. Well, it's not happening now. So it's up to us to keep this going.